parental advisory. In this video, Sash crashes out. Mom, if you're watching, uh, don't watch. Uh, and uh, if you're watching with kids, don't watch. This would be like my fifth time trying to make this video. I just can't find the words to just get the message out of what I'm trying to say. But a little backstory, I received a comment of someone showing love and support to the new Fit build. Like I got a DM saying, yo Zosh bro, I just watched a video of you getting the Fit. I am glad you got a Fit. Don't mind the comments. And that's what made me be like, Ugh? comments? What's wrong with the comments? The last time I checked the comments, they were great. But usually, I only check the comments in like the first 20 minutes of the video being up and then I protect my mental health <laughs> because Somehow, no matter what I do, damned if I do, damned if I don't, bro. It's always some type of... There's always that one person. And apparently, that one person got an arm. <laughs> it's not really a negative comment, but I received a comment from a guy. I'm going to read it to you. From a guy named Christian. He said, on the YouTube video, he said, Nice fit, but not again. Lately, your content is repetitive. You put Christina back to NA and tuned it just like you did years ago. Another fit build, the FD2 stuff was all right, but you want to grow bigger, yet you're still doing the same thing you did years ago. It's time for something fresh and different and venture into different builds and, well, better builds and opportunities. Christian, you're right. You're absolutely right. Things can be very repetitive on my channel, and that's something that I mentioned in my farewell video when I wanted to just throw all this shit away because I actually care about what I produce. I actually care about my content. What I don't care about is the viewership. I try my best to be as transparent so you guys can get to know who I am as a person. The people that do support and watch the videos or support the merch website or whatever, I want you guys to know who you're supporting, right? That's what I pretty much do it for. I create, I don't care about making clickbait videos. I don't care about chasing the bag or chasing views. That's never been me. From the, I stopped my, years ago when I first popped off making the cooking videos with my nephew, that was something that I just made on the fly. Like there was no real goal with it, no real intention. And it started getting traction and it started going up, up and up. And I'm like, okay. I don't want to keep making these videos because I, it's going to get to a point where I feel like I have to make them to uh, be successful. Like, I have to fake the originality just to get people to watch. And I felt myself doing that. I'm like, oh, man, Justice, we got to make another cooking video to get people what they want. But it won't hit the same. Because when I did it at first, I did it with the intention of just having something that's funny and original. And then when something gets too successful, you have that pressure to always deliver when it comes to my automotive YouTube journey, I've instilled it in my top unit. Always be genuine. I don't start problems with nobody. I don't move fake. I don't move disingenuine. I move with pure intentions. If at 28 years old, I'm only able to build in my Civic and my Integra and a Fit, that's what I'm able to do. I'm not willing to make the risk and all that that people are saying to go into debt to make others watch my videos. That's not, that's never been me. Yes, you're absolutely right. Things can be repetitive, but with that repetitiveness comes effort. I'm repetitive with the effort that I do put in the videos. Yes, I know what I'm creating. I know that stuff can be boring and like, oh, it's Ash Dunn broke the Integra. Here's an Integra fix video. I always try to find ways to make the edits better and make the, make the content worth watching, even though you saw what I'm doing for the hundredth time, like me buying another fit. I get it, so it's not people's cup of tea. People don't like the fit, that's, that's understandable, I get it. But the one thing that never sit right with me is people who try to criticize me on how to grow my channel when they can't do it them damn selves. Bro, I received a comment from this dude and I would give him the clout of me name dropping him, but don't crash out, Zaj. Don't crash out before GTA 6. But it's like, I went to his channel and watched a plethora of his videos, and they <laughs> suck. There's no editing in it. You have the nerve to critique me on how to grow my channel when you can't grow your own? 
<laughs> Daddy! Bro, no, no, that's, that's, that's not right. So you should... Christian, there's nothing wrong with your content. I get it. If my content is repetitive and it's not fun to watch, you don't have to watch it. I, t Bro, I hear you. I would love to grow and have better opportunities and things of that nature. And I went through something that I don't want to talk about because that's being worked out now. In a sense where like I'm now able to have more funds. Before then, there were companies eating off me and I was making them a shit ton of cash. I think one day I'll tell the story on why I haven't grown to have the shop and all that stuff when I was grinding those years but until then i'm trying to make the best of the situation now and i'm now i'm now in a better place financially in life and mentally in life and there's people that get the idea that like i have to cater to them because they watch youtubers buy porsches and buy shops and do all this cool stuff that's great for them that's awesome but that's not how my story goes i create content that i genuinely like bro I do it for me. It's a journey for me to look back when I'm in my 30s or 40s. Like, damn, look where I started from 2016 to 2024 in eight years. I've done a lot of amazing things that people like me probably don't get to experience. I'm working with some of the biggest companies in the automotive realm, bro. I've had amazing opportunities. And it's like, I don't talk my shit enough about it because I don't need to, bro. I don't need to. And I could take this wrong, but I feel like his statement or his comment was genuine, just like, Josh, I want what's best for you. And right now, I am doing what's best for me. And Christian, if you're watching this video, I'm not throwing any hate towards you. I get it. I get it. And I agree with you. I wholeheartedly agree with you. But the way that I am, the way that I'm wired, the way that I choose to do things, it's what's best for me. And if you don't like it, not saying you, Christian, but if anybody who's watching this video right now don't like what I'm doing or don't like that I bought a fit or don't like that I own a Civic or don't like that I went from Turbo to NA, you don't have to watch it, bro. Like, it's the people that try to offer support but don't fucking <laughs> support. It don't make sense. I'm grateful and I'm glad that, like, I am now building that community of people to defend me like bro do you guys even watch Zosh videos like bro don't chase clout like there's people that actually get it they're like i don't i don't do the stuff that other youtubers do to make views and stuff like yes it would be cool right like it would be cool to have youtube to fund all my projects and things in life that would be great the, the way that i am and how i choose to move with morale and dignity and just being a genuine fucking person, I'm not willing to sell myself short to make a couple views. To me, it don't make sense. And I just want people to understand now that like moving forward, if there's any type of negative comments where people be like just trying to talk down to me when you can't even do what I do, I'm blocking that shit, bro. And I receive so much love on the daily fit video and i'm so grateful and i'm so thankful for people who got my back even if i'm not there to defend myself and talk about why i do things that i do i'm glad that you, people that genuinely watch my videos for me understand who i am as a person you are the type of people i want watching and supporting my videos to where i can give back to you all in a way where it's like bro i genuinely f with y'all i do but it's the people that think that I'm supposed to be this this fake ass person to, to cater to views and chase clout and like, bro, that's not me, bro. That's never gonna be me. I've been doing YouTube for over a decade now and I've never did anything to chase clout when it came to the automotive stuff. Now, I ain't gonna lie, when I was back in my Call of Duty gaming videos, I, I used to make little clickbaity style commentaries to get some buzzings around my name. When I set out to make automotive content, I knew I had a purpose with it, and I just wanted to show people that you can do it, bro. Where I come from, like, a lot of people don't know my actual story of where I come from and things of that nature, and I try to put it out there. Like, when you're in a community that I'm from, you're expected to sell drugs, Go to jail, <laughs> sell drugs. Doing what I do is unheard of. It's unheard of, bro. I've influenced so many people of color to pick up a camera. I've inspired so many builds. This this video was gonna be me crashing out on negative comments. 
but it as i'm saying these words i'm realizing that like bruh i've done amazing things with what i've been given the cards that i've been dealt with i've done amazing things and i'm still growing i'm still progressing where i'm at in life right now i'm happy where i'm at yes of course i want to grow and and do better and have cooler opportunities i'm working towards that but i'm doing it in my way i'm not doing it in the way of trying to chase this and chase that i'm not chasing nothing because like i always say when you chase something that means it don't want to be caught i'm leading with the lord all right that's who leading me on my journey and i'm doing things with morale putting my trust in the god and he's favoring me by having the people that do genuinely watch and support me watch and support me i feel like i knew where he was coming from but again you don't have to watch it bro i'm not gonna build a drift car i don't care for drifting bro guys it's not hard for me to really get viewership right it's not hard it's easy i know the system i choose not to do it because it won't feel right for me to do it i don't want to buy a car that i don't care for just to make drifting content i want to venture into a career of motorsports and that's what i'm doing it's not gonna be it's not something that i can just do next day this shit takes time it takes money and time and then there goes the people like well if you want money you gotta do this you gotta do that you guys don't know. i oh man i don't even know if i'm gonna post this video because somehow somebody's gonna watch him like well i feel like ah oh, shut up bitch i don't care how you feel <laughs> the bottom line of this video is i want to express with great attitude that I don't give not one, not two, not three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten poopies about chasing viewership, bro. The people that watch me, I'm grateful for them. Whether it's 2,000 people or 5,000 people or 10,000 people, I'm grateful that people want to see what I do with my life. I'm not doing this for you. I'm not, bro. And I know that may make you feel like, well, why do you do YouTube then? Like, if, if you don't care, why do you do it? Because I enjoy it. And I could actually make some monies from it. Why wouldn't I want to monetize the video? Some dumbass was like, well, if you don't care for views, why do you monetize your channel? Why wouldn't I? What kind of... How, are people really this dumb? Bro, if you go fishing... And you film yourself fishing, but you don't care that people watch you fishing, but somehow you're starting to get money from you fishing. You're going to not monetize your video. He's an idiot. Yeah, he's a fucking moron. Do you see how dumb that sounds? Why wouldn't I monetize my channel? I built this brick by brick. This is mine. I built this. From 2016 to 2020, four years of me doing straight automotive content, I've killed it. I've killed it and to this day i'm still killing shit i just linked officially and legally with falcon tires bro and what did you do i met cars and coffees oh that's my dream car oh but you're in my comments talking about what i should be shut up bitch you can't even grow your channel to 500 subscribers get the we got a zosh crash out video before gta said i've been holding back because I've been trying to be political and respectful, but I'm tired of that shit. I'm tired of that shit. Listen here, pal. If you don't create content, right? You don't create content, or you do create content, but you haven't surpassed 500 subscribers or 5,000 subscribers, why should I listen to you? Why can't you do what you're telling me to do? That don't make sense. A simple answer to that is, shut the fuck up. How simple can it get? You know, I don't ever comment on big YouTube dudes on like why, they, what they should do. If I can't do what homeboy doing, why should I say something? I genuinely think that social media has gave people this sort of like power that they think they have, but don't to just say the dumbest of dumbest things and think it's okay. 
because it's not. Yes, you have an opinion. Yes, you can say whatever you want. Don't speak on things you have no idea. None of you got... I think that's a cop. Okay. How you doing? How you doing? Are we I'll just make a little YouTube video. Are we I just come. I live over there. I was like, I'm gonna just come here. So like, if anything happened, <laughs> I could be good. Oh, for real? Yeah, it's, it's a city park. It's a city park. So. A am I trespassing? No, no, no. But I thought I was the only supposed to be here. Oh. Yeah, because that's why we have the cameras. It's city park. Oh, that makes sense. That, yeah, I was, so it kind of do look suspicious. Some <laughs> car just parked in with a bright light. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, I did. At least I knew my neighbors are courteous in case something was going on. Nah, you good, though. You good. Oh, I appreciate you, man. Thank you. Yeah, I, I'm just I'm just making a little short YouTube video. Okay, I appreciate it, man. Thank. Zosh, Z O S H. Yeah. Thank you, bro. You too. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> He's gonna watch me crashing out in my. The cops gonna watch me crashing out in this video. I just wanna say this to the people that do support me. Thank you, bro. I genuinely appreciate you guys watching the videos and understanding who I am as a person and having my back when dumbass people come to my comment section talking dumb shit. <sighs> I gotta stop crying. I'm finna go get me some food. But I thank you and I love you and I appreciate you. From this day forward, I'm blocking out all the negativity. If you coming on my channel some negative dumb shit, your ass getting blocked. It's just that simple. I ain't doing no more bullshit. I'm not finna be in comments going back and forth. That shit over with, bruh. I don't think I'm gonna post this video. <laughs> but if I do, thank you for watching, and I'll be sure to catch you guys in the next one. I'm out.